we had another exciting week turkey hunting as both Raleigh and Adam headed out with their shotguns and Adam and I headed over to Lamar, Missouri to hunt with Pete. You might recall, Pete won the Redneck Blinds Sweet Steaks Turkey Hunt. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Set Master, Dead Downwind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Whitetail Properties, Bloodsport Arrows, Outdoor Edge Knife, Flatwood Natives, Morel Targets, Caldwell, Hooks Custom Calls, Montana Decoy, Prime Bows, G5 Broadheads, and Redneck Hunting Blinds. The first morning, we set up in a hay bale blind that had been tucked in the corner of a large ag field. Oh, here goes a whole bunch more. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch more going on. We're going four more. Five, five, six. Six more right in front. There's a car in the back. We could see some toms strutting a couple hundred yards away, but it didn't seem like they were paying any attention to our calls. About the time those toms started working away, we noticed some jakes working toward our setup. When several jakes get together in a flock, they tend to act like bullies and constantly harass the toms in the area. For the next hour, we could constantly see turkeys somewhere in the field. There'd be jakes here, maybe a couple gobblers over there, but none of them seemed to be paying much attention to our setup. As these turkeys drifted off, we knew we had to change something. And after hours of studying the behavior of these particular turkeys, we decided we needed Papa Strut to draw them in. Papa Strut's Montana Strutter decoy, because it's so foldable and collapsible, Adam was able to slide it under the blind and pop it up, even with turkeys in view of our setup. Once the Papa Strut was up, we could tell the turkeys were paying attention to our blind like they hadn't before, and they were headed our way. We've now been in the blind five hours, watching turkeys most of the time, and Pete is yet to get a shot. This time, both the Toms and Jakes were working their way toward our blind, and I could tell Pete was getting excited. After five hours in the blind, I didn't want to let these Toms get away, so I opened up the side window, repositioned Pete, and was ready for the shot. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Ready? Ready? Shoot again. Shoot again. Whichever one you shot, shoot that one running away. You got him. You nailed him. Pete made a great shot, and after hours in the blind, we were on the board. That's a good dude. The turkeys, they would not stop feeding. For you. Well, I'm uh, telling you, it was the most challenging turkey hunt I've ever been on. Pete went from the chair on this side to the middle chair to Adam's chair, and Adam was standing up. We, we did a lot of moving to make this happen. There's so many jakes, the gobblers are scared. I, have I mean, never literally. seen so many jakes in my life. We've seen 18 different jakes. Uh, we have four hours of memory in the camera, and we were down to three minutes. <laughs> it was a long and very enjoyable hunt. We were seeing turkeys almost the entire time and having a great visit with Pete. Have you ever noticed you can take hunters from different states or even different cultures and they instantly bond Perfect. and have a lot to talk about. This trip got even better as the guys from Redneck Blinds fried up Pete's turkey that night. I like it. We had a great feast and an enjoyable visit. I got one of the Traeger's Congratulations, Pete, on winning the sweepstakes and having a great hunt at the Redneck Farms. Each year, some of my favorite hunts are those I share with family. 
So I was really excited to take my 16-year-old daughter, Raleigh, hunting. I knew the toms at our farm hadn't been gobbling much and had been spending a lot of time with hens. I didn't believe a cut and run hunt would be the most productive given those conditions. So Raleigh and I returned to a hay bale blind where both Ray and my father had already tagged a tom this year. The magic to this spot is the location of this hidey hole food plot. Hidey hole food plots are generally an attraction, but put a hidey hole food plot where critters want to travel anyway, and it's almost always a recipe for success. A couple of hours later, we heard a gobble not more than 100 yards or so behind the blind. It's one of those gobbles that's loud and crisp, and you know you're in the game. I was still shifting the camera and focusing on that area when Raleigh whispered she saw a tom. There, there's a turkey out there. Yeah. I know, I can't get a shot. He's gonna come around here fairly fast. Do you see him? No, I can't even see him. You nailed him. You okay? Yeah, it jumped a lot more than I thought. That'll wake you up. <laughs> that was poopy footage, but it was a great hunt. <laughs> Raleigh's shot was true and perfect timing. That Tom was within about one yard of getting to the woods on the other side, and I suspect that hunt would have been over if that Tom had reached the woods. Probably fell asleep for about an hour or so, and Dad like gently wakes me up and he says, there's some turkeys nearby. So we hear them gobbling a little bit. We're probably sitting here for like 20 minutes and then all of a sudden they start blasting probably no less than 20 yards away from us. I see just a head bob and then we start following it and then I can't keep up with it because it's moving really fast. And then I saw the other one behind it and it was a little bigger and going a little slower so I decided to train my sights on that one. When I had a chance to watch the footage, I was really proud of Raleigh. That Tom's head was bobbing a lot and moving in the weeds, and she waited till she was confident she could make a great shot. You got a hooks on there. Mm-hmm. It's a good three-year-old bird. Busted off on this side, but look how long that one is. Yeah. You can tell he'd been fighting. Look at his. They're all how, messed up. Look how his tail's all messed up. Big, thick beard. Goodness gracious. That beard. Look at that. That's an inch across there. That's a very. That's a thicker beard than any bird I've killed this year. This Heidi Hole food plot's been really great for our family this year. I mean, my sister got one, my grandpa got one. I mean, there's actually feathers around here from my grandpa's shot, and now I got one. You can see here how the feathers are all busted off and crooked and stuff. This one's just broke at the base and is only barely holding on. Oh, goodness gracious. Once again, the combination of Winchester's long beard ammo and XS3 shotgun Bagged a bird at 40 plus yards for the Woods family. Long ways from when you were, what, six years old and had a little Missed that in. one. Big gobbler ran in, ran to us, ran the whole way and didn't stop and shot and he flew off and you said, that was great. <laughs> and you weren't upset and I knew you was going to be a great hunter because you wanted the experience more than the turkey. Mm -hmm. The next morning, Adam grabbed a Winchester and teamed up with Seth Harker, one of our pro staffers near Mountain Grove, Missouri. Right out there, it's
When a tom's gobbling in the morning, he's trying to attract hens to them. So it's always risky that a hen may get to the gobbler before the gobbler gets to the hunter. That seems to be the case during this setup as they heard a hen calling close to the gobbler not long after they set up. They kept on prospecting and soon after heard another tom gobble. They moved quickly to a good setup by this tom and started calling to him. I just don't get tired of turkey hunting. Woo! I was gonna let him come, but he kind of had his head up, and the way my season's been going so far, <laughs> I was not letting him get away. Woo! Thank you, thank you, buddy. He was kind of <laughs> he was coming up, and then he kind of stood there like uh, he probably was just looking him over, but. I didn't want to take any chance. <laughs> Look at this. This is this is why I love turkey hunting. It's because I get shook up during deer hunting, but not until after the shot. Yeah. But it is the whole time. They're gobbling. I'm still shaking. Oh, well, I, dude, it kind of got me a little rattled there coming. <laughs> yeah, that little that little butte right there. Mm. Mm -mm. He loved it as much as I did. <laughs> Oh. I ain't even stuffed it off. Dude, it's quite a poke. I was living in the viewfinder. <laughs> he 
He's got a heck of a beard, I can tell you that much. Does he? Boy, rope. Looks like inch spurs. I don't know how far that is. Probably every bit of 50. Something like that. It's May 2nd today. Still no breastbone showing. Not much breeding going on, it doesn't look like. But they're really hinned up. It seems like this spring we're about three weeks behind normal. We're not even full foliage here. Dogwood blooms are still on. Got a great beard. Boy, I mean a rope, dude. Probably a 10 inch, 10 inch beard. Inch spurs, probably 23 pounds. Great hunt though. Just a beautiful, beautiful Missouri hunt. You can see, got a beautiful fan. Just a beautiful bird. I do not get tired of hunting turkeys not at all. Well, he's a beautiful turkey, dude. Wore his tips down. He's got a heck of a beard. Look how pretty his head is. Mm -hmm. That's why I like shooting him so far. Don't mess up the head. You get to see how pretty it is. <laughs> you want to introduce somebody to hunting? You don't take them deer hunting. You yeah, take them turkey, turkey hunting, hunting and you set them on the ground right there with them. Oh yeah. Well, just like Trace, he said, Dad, I, I like turkey hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful turkey, ain't it? I, do, I wonder if he was going to go back in strut or if that was it. I do too. That's why I wasn't taking <laughs> any chance. <laughs> Guess what? what? I think you made the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely don't regret it. <laughs> was he going to go like this or was he going to go like this? <laughs> I thought about giving him a second, but I'm not going to lie, the way he was standing, if he would have taken one step back this way, I would have shot, shot Miss Perfect. So I was like, eh, I don't really want to send her spinning. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of BBs in this head, dude. Yeah. There, there, there. He's got a great beard. Yes, he does. Rope beard. Adam obviously made a great shot on this bird, but the true success was Adam and Seth not getting discouraged, reading the turkey's behavior, and adjusting their hunting strategy accordingly. If you'd like to learn more about our management techniques or our deer and turkey hunting techniques, join us this year at our annual field day. Scott Hooks is going to be here and he'll be showing us all some pointers about using turkey calls. For more information about our field day, simply go to growingdeer.tv and click on the field day banner on the left side. We've clearly been blessed with a number of great turkey hunts this spring. I hope you and your family have had a chance to get outside and enjoy creation, but most importantly, Take time every day to be quiet and listen to what the Creator is saying to you. Thanks for watching GrowingDeer.tv.